I know you're probably expecting some sort of ironic meme take on why Shrek 2 is the best movie of all time, and I can't really blame you for that. These days, Shrek is remembered for stuff like this. I know what you're thinking. I've known it since you tuned in. You're thinking, I can't freestyle rap! As a kid, I loved the Shrek movies. They were charming, funny, and had some killer fart jokes. I wish I could say that Shrek 2 had some great impact on me as a kid, but I didn't realize how special it was until years later. When I actually sat down and watched Shrek 2 again, I was about 14. I wouldn't call myself depressed at that point in my life, but as I learned to navigate relationships and adapt to all these changes, I was feeling pretty helpless. I'm still quite nervous in social situations, but when I was 14 they are an absolute nightmare. I felt like an outsider, and I couldn't handle the fear of being disliked. Now, you're probably starting to see where this all ties into Shrek 2, and why it's such an important movie to me, so let's talk about that. To put it simply, Shrek 2 is all about identity. At the start of the movie, Shrek and Fiona are off enjoying their honeymoon. They've accepted themselves after the first film. Shrek is more open and caring for others, and Fiona can finally be herself. This comfort is thrown into chaos when they receive an invitation from the king. This disruption of Shrek and Fiona's identities is the key difference between Shrek 1 and 2, and why I like the second one more. If Shrek 1 was about accepting yourself, then Shrek 2 is about being unsure of what yourself means. Fiona already accepted herself as an ogre in the first movie, but here's her past life as a princess literally knocking on her front door. At the same time, Shrek is faced with a situation where he needs to impress the very people who hate his kind. With Fiona becoming closer to her past life and Shrek in unwelcome territory, both are facing a lot of self-doubt. After the king rejects him, Shrek explores Fiona's bedroom. He finds some mementos from her childhood that reinforce the image of a handsome prince. This causes Shrek to drink a potion and become human in an attempt to make Fiona happy. Shrek sets aside his previous identity and begins to wear the face of someone he believes will fit in and be accepted. This is something that most people can probably relate to. I can remember many times that I've tried to reinvent myself to fit in. The problem with this method, of course, is that it's inherently superficial and can't substitute the emotional growth that Fiona actually wanted from Shrek. <laughs> At this point though, Shrek thinks being human is the absolute bee's knees. Shrek confuses emotional growth with aesthetic change, and in doing so, he falls into the fairy godmother's trap. Prince Charming assumes the role of Shrek in order to attain power from Fiona. Unaware of the plot to swindle Fiona, Shrek's self-confidence is destroyed. Despite throwing his identity away in order to be accepted, he's told that he isn't worthy of Fiona's love. When I watched Shrek 2 in high school, this theme really spoke to me. Around this time, I was really unsure of what kind of person I wanted to be. The feeling of trying to change yourself to fit in, only to be rejected again and again, is deeply relatable and part of an important lesson. Just ain't no good. Unlike the first film, Shrek 2 explores identity and acceptance to a much deeper extent. Instead of presenting the message that you shouldn't care what others think, which in my opinion can be damaging and cause people to ignore real issues, Shrek 2 taught me to value what I think. Shrek's happiness doesn't come from leaving those who didn't accept him behind. It's his decision to pursue what he wants and thinks is right that solves the conflict. Shrek 2 demonstrated an emotional maturity that I'd never seen in a kid's film before. Presenting confidence is the capacity to value yourself alongside others, instead of despite them. It's important to note that Shrek doesn't pursue Fiona on his own. Instead, he learns how to cooperate with his friends on equal footing, which gives him the power to overcome the castle's defenses and reach Fiona. Hey, you! Back away from my wife! Shrek's resolution comes from true emotional growth. Not through coincidence, luck, or blocking out the haters. His story is one that anybody can relate to. The truth is that it's impossible to completely ignore what other people think. And that's a good thing. 
Accepting yourself doesn't exist in isolation. Understanding what it means to live among other people and value your own role in those relationships is a skill that almost everyone struggles to learn at some point. It's something much easier to put into words than it is to put into practice, and I'd be talking out of my ass if I said I understood it all. But somehow this cartoon about a green dude made me a better person, and shit, that's beautiful. <laughs>